All right, everybody, here to talk about some tips and tricks for the new Lux mount that you have recently purchased. Starting off, we're going to find the best spot to put it in your car. Now in this Toyota RAV4, there's a couple spots on the dashboard here that would be a good candidate to put this mount. One being on the leather itself, this location here is also an ideal spot. And below the engine start stop button is another possibility from what I can see here. But what we're gonna go with is this spot right here because it's flat, doesn't have any of the leather contours, doesn't have any of the curves that you might find here. I know a lot of you out there have different textures on your leather dashboards, but this smooth plastic is an ideal spot for this Lux permanent dash mount. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our included wipes, one being wet and one being dry. We're gonna tear it open and we're just gonna give that surface just a quick little wipe down just to clear all the oils off of it. First with the wet and then next with the dry. Again, this just makes sure that the adhesive on the mount just has the best chance of getting that permanent hold. Okay, so now that we have that all lined up, all clean, we are going to take the mount and peel off the adhesive cover on the back. Now the lining up in that spot is probably the most important part, but it just takes a quick guide Put it down, press firmly for a few seconds, and then the most important part, and this is probably gonna be the trickiest part, is to not use the mount for 12 to 24 hours, just to give it that maximum hold. That means you're just gonna have this mount sitting out on display, not being used properly for the first day that you have it, but trust us, that's gonna give it the maximum potential to hold. But while you're waiting, one of the things to do next is get the plate that comes with the mount on the back of your device. So same thing, starts first with taking the adhesive off the back, the adhesive, find a nice spot, center of your phone, higher up, lower down, doesn't make much of a difference. It's all kind of up to you where you wanna put it. We'll go right below the Samsung logo right about there. Press it. Now the smooth surface of the phone is going to be pretty strong of a hold right away. So just give it a few rubs, nice little pressure. And now this thing isn't gonna come off until you really want it to come off. It's gonna require just kind of reverse process down the road when you end up getting a new phone, something like that. Just get something sharp, something small underneath it, pry it up, lift it, and it'll come right off. That about wraps it up. That'll get you the mount to have its most firm hold on the dashboard, the plate, preferably on the outside of the device. We advertise that it can go either on the outside of the device or underneath the case. But depending on what case you have, the safest option is to put it on the outside of the device itself. It's a nice looking plate, so you don't have to worry about it kind of wrecking the aesthetic value of your phone. And it's gonna give you that maximum hold on the mount itself. Thanks for watching, guys.